She scored once, can she do it? She's going over the line and burned for a double! Kia ora, hello and welcome to O2 Inside Line Live. I'm Emily Scarrett. I'm Abby Dow. And I'm Tatiana Hurd. We're here in our final week in New Zealand, but just before we get going, just to say that this is not actually live because of the 13 hour time difference. Okay. So we'd love to answer your questions live, but we'll probably be asleep. Let's talk about what we've been up to this week. Uh, roommates, Abby Dow. Um, so my roomie is Vic Cornborough and we've kind of been smashing some good uh, like movies. Oh, wait, that sounds really weird saying we've been where, smashing. Where we were going there. <laughs> I realised what I said. Like you're either gonna... My roomie is Vic Cornborough and we've been binge watching a couple of films. Which one? Um, we started with all the Lord of the Ringses, I thought. Oh. A noble oh. thing. Did you manage to get to Hobbit on? No, we didn't. Don't talk about it, it's unbitter. <laughs> But we basically watched everything we possibly could, Lord of the Rings, and now it's finished. But then we kind of fell in love with Legolas, and then we started watching Power, um, Pirates of the Caribbean because we were just so in love with him. My roommate is Amy Ficain, um, obviously having sadly lost Tora Keats partway through the tour, which is very sad. Um, what have we been doing? Mainly she just demands cups of tea from me. So I'm the tea something that maybe we can use a five letter word but you can't say. Um, yes, that's, that's me. My roommate is Connie Powell. Um, she's a lot more fun than I am. She likes to play and she likes to do fun things and I like to lie down. So, uh, and read. And read. How many books have um, you got through? I've read, I'm on my third book since we got here. Um, should finish it by tomorrow I think probably. Mm. I've been smashing it. Yeah. Stop saying Stop that! Stop saying it! I'm so sorry! It's <laughs> the only got my head! My highlight from New Zealand has got to be the Bear of Islands. I absolutely loved it. I think everyone else was too busy being tired, but I was like, this is incredible. It was like, very cool. It was so Other pretty. Dolphins. Yeah. I got a good exposure on my phone. I got some really nice photos. What do you mean good exposure? So if you like change the exposure on your phone, it like gets in all the light. So you know when like all the photos are taken and you can't really see the land? But then if you put your exposure up, then you can see the land because like it, it just it looks nice. Honestly, I'll send you some photos oh, if you want. Yeah, yeah, let us know. Yeah, okay. um, I reckon mine was Kate's Marathon Day, oh, oh, as well as Bear Island. I thought that was super cool, how everyone just chipped in, made signs. Very cute. And the fact that she ran a marathon is just bonkers in the first place. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Um, mine probably was Bay of Islands too, the dolphins, um, but I'll say something a bit more original, um, <laughs> or not. Um, my second favourite thing has been my Thai massage actually. I just got bent over by a, <laughs> by a Thai lady while she was above me and told me that I was good in that position, but mm, we'll see. <laughs> And then you kept going back, right? Uh, I've not been back since, but it was good. <laughs> Would recommend. Oh, I just got bent over. <laughs> so obviously final week, loads of friends and family are out here now. Have you guys got people out here? And have they have been having the best time? Yeah, so my, my mum came out with my brother and my godmother and honestly, they are literally like, oh, so I can't really meet you right now because I'm on the other edge of the country and I'm having a whale of a time like doing what they want and I'm like, cool, I'm training, thanks. But that's so, so nice, isn't it? Yeah. My mum and dad are the same and I just want them to go and have a lovely time. Yeah. And then you don't have the pressure of having to hang out with them all the time. <laughs> How's Tracy been getting uh, on? Tracy's having a whale of a time, <laughs> honestly. Um, so my parents are here, um, they're having a great time, they've been exploring, they've seen majority of this island, I'm pretty sure. Um, and they've got here like a week after us, so they've been here the whole time. Um, so yeah, living the dream, I think. Who's in? Oh uh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Scars? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, mum and dad are here, they've been wasn't sure if they would come because of farm life, but they managed to do it. So Joe, my brother, is just picking up all the stuff back at home while Dad's having a lovely time and just, yeah, 
living his best life. Oh, cool. oh I love that. No. It's cute though, because they wouldn't be here otherwise. Which is it's nice. like the perfect time for like quite a lot of parents though, because it's the sort of time when all the kids have been kicked out and now they're like, time for holidays. So they're just having a great yeah. holiday. Exactly. My mum doesn't actually like flying, so I didn't know if she'd actually make it or whether she'd have to become like an American citizen. Like do the first flight to America and then be like, I can't, I can't possibly do that again. So <laughs> she's here. Whether she'll get home or not, who knows. But yeah, it's a good start. And here's some more of what we've been getting up to in New Zealand with the latest episode of Inside Line Red Roses. The well condition, we know that, so we'll keep going. They've got some good individual players, what we've just talked about. Okay, they've got a decent set piece. I got asked the other day about, do we fear anybody? I said, we respect everybody, but we fear nobody. Well, we'll give these a bit of respect, but don't over-respect them. Right? We're going to go at them. We're not going to go, let's see what they've got. We'll absorb it and then we'll go, or let's be too worried about this or that. Right? We're going to go and take our game to them. Let's think from this moment forward what we're going to do. Yeah? Collision craft, building around our contact area, how well we can process the contact area, how much momentum we can create at the contact area will be directly related to our, our tempo and how we want to play. That is going to be an ongoing feature as we go through to the World Cup. It's effectively contact area. We called it collision craft just because we wanted to put a spotlight on it and a lot more emphasis into that sort of area to improve. Collisions in rugby happen in a number of different ways, whether that's through the ball carrier arriving into the breakdown or tackles in defence. As a team, we can experience over 600 collisions a game. When we compare that to the number of set pieces that occur, this is a massive part of the game that we need to put huge emphasis on. Having possession of the ball or trying to get possession back, it all starts around that contact area breakdown. By hook or by crook, we fought our way into it today. Right? That's testimony to you lot. The character you have, the spirit you have, the determination you have. Could not be more proud of you. Yeah? Be proud of yourselves. And we'll get ready to go again. Yeah? <laughs> You can watch the full episode of Inside Line Red Roses on England Rugby's Facebook and YouTube. Here on O2 Inside Line, we're hoping to stay connected back home. So here are some of your questions. Hey Red Roses, uh, Jack Noel here. Could you tell me something you've learned about New Zealand that you didn't know before? That you get all four seasons in 20 minutes. Yeah, I thought England was bad, but actually, yeah, it's insane. But, and I didn't enjoy, don't enjoy it for like picking what I'm wearing. I also didn't know that um, there was so much grass. I <laughs> thought it would be a lot more sand and water. Oh, really? Oh, the trees are also really cool here as well. Yeah, to be fair. yeah there's a lot of vegetation. Yeah. yeah. And all the coffee's really good as well. It's all good. I've, I've not had a bad coffee. Since I don't I got drink here. coffee. I can't help you here. <sighs> well, I've not had a bad coffee. No, it's good. It's very good. What's been your highlight in Auckland? My favourite bit about Auckland is the creme brulee donut at Amano. I was thinking of the almond quest one from Milano, oh, so similar good. vibes, yeah. Very good. Both very good. Mine's very different. Go on. I think on the first day we arrived, me and Vix walked to the harbour and there was like this like wedding dress thing going on and we kind of semi snuck into the back of it and just watched. It was really fun. Wedding dress thing? It was like a fashion show for re wedding dresses on the harbour front and we were like, what's going on? So then we just kind of walked into the back of it where they all meant to be and we just had a nice time. It was great. <laughs> you two. That is very different. Your two like player diaries, if you did one, would be so different to everybody else's. It'd be All ridiculous. I'm saying is Vix does has, have a diary and if you read it, <laughs> terrible things would come out. <laughs> like a burn book? Not a burn book, we just do weird things. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, like what was that thing that, that, um, with the dead body? Oh yeah, so basically for my birthday, um, <laughs> I'd been given loads of balloons, so we blew them up. And then we were like, well, now we've just got a load of balloons in the room. So then we might have put them all underneath my bed and then like wrapped a phone cord around it and left it for like Holly to go and look into it. Because I basically went to the lift and I was like, oh my God, Holly, I forgot my phone. There's definitely a phone in my bed. Because there was technically a phone in my bed. It was like the corded phone. <laughs> um, so I made Holly run into the room and get it. And it was just a dead body for, for her there. So, you know. What was her reaction? She, was, she basically was like, happy and they just threw my stuff on the floor and walked back to the lift and then I was late. But what week was your birthday? Because that's early doors as well. Yeah, that like was like the first week. Haven't been set in yet. No, that <laughs> was just us going, screw it. Gosh. <laughs> Waste not, what not. 
Thanks for your questions across the series. We're looking forward to seeing everyone when we're back in England. This week's England Rugby podcast, O2 Inside Learning, features Hannah Bottomham. Here's a teaser of what's in the episode. I'm just Hannah, has a short haircut, occasionally gets called a boy. And if those, there's little girls that want to shave their head and play rugby and be like me, then that's, then that's amazing. And if I'm showing them that, that it's okay to do that, then that's even better. My mum and dad both played. Mum always says that she could have played for England but fell pregnant with me. So she's probably just living her dreams through me now. And I remember with 10 minutes to go, we were going into a scrum and I looked behind and Tam Taylor at the time was playing and she looked at me and could probably just see the fear in my eyes of like, what have I got myself into? And she just went, 10 more minutes, mate, just keep going. When I say I thought I was going, I thought I was going to die. I didn't think I was going to make it. You're listening to the England Rugby Podcast, O2 Inside Line. I'm Hannah Bottomer. And you can listen to the full episode of Bots's Pod on Apple, Acast or wherever you get your podcasts. Right, game time. It's ring toss. It's ring toss? Yeah, that's what you... Yeah, that was all. Was that enough? Who's going first? You can go first. <laughs> Is it? We're going height order. <laughs> no! Yeah, smallest first. Oh. <laughs> She's so oh. good under pressure. Stop. Don't you dare. Oh, I'm fuming! <laughs> oh. Is that top of the leaderboard? Come on! Come on. <sighs> yeah, you guys forced me to Feel free to come. Oh, Sugar. lucky. Nice. A bit more. Yeah, sure. Too much. Bit of difference. Much. Oh. oh. That last one was you. That was like, I can't be bothered anymore. I'm lost. There's no point. Yeah, there you go. too easy. Shot. Oh, nice. Shot. Nice. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm too excited. <laughs> so apparently that was the last ring toss of the series. So the leaderboard is as such. And I'd like you guys to be a little bit happier for me. And the winner yes. is <laughs> Emily Scarrett, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for O2 Inside Line Live. Thanks so much for all your support over the past couple of months in New Zealand. Make sure you're following all of England Rugby's social channels for more content before we fly back. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. Oh, I just missed that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs>